It's going to be the grinding process for a 2.5 liter Subaru single overhead cam. I'm going to put a rough dress on the wheel for the hogging out of the lobe. What we're going to do here is verify the indexing to ensure that equal amounts taken off the front and back side of the lobe. Going to be fine tuning the cam to align the camshaft with the tooling that is located on the other side of the headstock. If the indexing is off one degree, usually that requires about 20,000 space circle diminishment. So indexing is extremely critical when you're doing a reground camshaft. Over here, what he's doing is changing from one cylinder to another cylinder. That'll ensure proper location piston the valve. Gonna put the finished dress on the wheel. The dusty old diamond dresser, which puts a very smooth finish on the cutting stone.
Now from here, we're going to flip over here off uh, the intake to the exhaust, or the exhaust to the intake, depending on which camshaft we're grinding. All right, we're going to do the process of dead wheeling, which is when the wheels actually turn back off. We'll run the camshaft against the stone that's not turning. Do a preliminary adjustment while we're dead wheeling. And now he's going to fire off the cutting stone. Point five single red cam Subaru is a hydraulic, or actually it's a mechanical version that is a steel roller billet. Very nice because we just have to do the cam grind and the adjustments picked up in the rock arm. Uh, factory Subaru billets are hard all the way down into the core. We'll never ever actually grind through the hardness. And it's done from here. It goes to the quality control department. Please feel free to check out all our other videos. And upon request, I'll actually video your custom cam grind if you'd like. And it could probably burn a CD or something off it and actually have video documentation of your own cam grind being ground.